What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we wrap up the Gauntlet series for the Noble Falcon ANCs um, with the final boss in my uh, uh, my rotation, um, the BO, Bang & Olufsen BO Play EQs. Now, they did had a great outing. The EX, no, excuse me, the Falcon ANCs had a great showing against uh, the Sennheiser Momentum 3s in the previous uh, uh, video, but now they're gonna go up against uh, my overall best uh, earbuds uh, that I that I own. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through all the paces and we'll see how, you, how they uh, match up. So stay strapped in, because here we go. All right, we're back in the final showdown. The, we got the Falcon ANCs by Noble versus the B the BO Play EQs by Bing and Olumson. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to talk about pricing. Uh, the Falcon ANCs go for uh, 189. As well, and as for the BO Play EQs, they go for 399. Now, as far as uh, where to buy them, you can re you can get the uh, Falcon ANCs on either Noble audio.com or audio46.com and as well as for the being maybe oh, I'm fumbling over my words already I'm so excited about this matchup uh the BO play EQs you can get them on Bang & Olufsen's website as well as on Amazon okay so uh let's go ahead and take a look at the cases as you can tell they are definitely uh different <laughs> uh, obviously you've got a real thick uh square shape uh case for the uh the falcon a and c's i do love the uh blue and black contrast you got the matte black finish around the around the case while the lid is a uh, glossy blue uh color I, I love that uh they call it the uh noble blue and I, I just, I love that contrast between the two. Like I said, these are one of my, you know, two of my uh, favorite colors in the world. So I really, I'm really, really digging this. Um, and you can go take a look at the uh, Bang & Olufsen, the Beoplay EQ case. It's uh, more of a flat pill shape, um, r real elegant, very like that, that matte finish, a soft, uh, uh, Almost, I want to, I want to say, uh, like, uh, a, 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 almost like an aluminum. Um, I'm sure they got a, a name, a type, a name for the, uh, for the metal that they use for this case, but it's like a soft, a soft aluminum, very elegant. Uh, as you can tell, you got the, uh, banging all of us in branding on it there. Yep. So. It's very nice, uh, definitely pocketable because of how thin it is. Uh, as you can see, very uh, very thin as com compared to the uh, Falcon ANC case. Um, I've always said this case is not this is not for a pants pocket. This one is more for uh, like a, a bag or something you can throw it in. Okay, um, but as far as the BO Play EQ uh, case, uh, it's just very premium um i love the 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 head the hinge ah uh, the hinge on it it just you can't slam it shut you you really can't because it will it, it will slow it down and you get that uh elegant pop uh whereas with the uh falcon a and c case you get the slap yeah um it's not a uh it's a not it's an okay hinge it, it doesn't feel cheap to me, but uh, it's a, just you get a slap here, whereas you get a pop here. So it, it's it's very nice. All right, so as we take a you know, look around the cases, we'll start with the BO Play EQ case. Uh, you got your uh, single LED in the front for uh, battery. Uh, shows you how much battery's left in the, in the case, as well as when it's charging the earbuds, and then of course on the back, you have your USB type C port for charging. Um, and of course there is no reset 
button, you will have to use the touch pads on the uh, earbuds to set them into reset or pairing mode. Then we switch over to the Falcon ANCs. Um, okay, we got the, let me do that again. Let me hit that button again and get that light going. All right, you got the three, you got four LEDs here. I only have three lit up. Um, which we're down to 75 cent of battery strength here. And then of course on the back, you got the USB-C port, uh, similar to the, uh, BioPlay EQs, but inside here you have the reset button so, or pairing button. So you can set and put the earbuds in a uh, pairing mode. Okay. So what we want to do next is we're going to go ahead and take a look at each app or each earbud. We're going to pull one out. All right. It just seems like my man, Samson picks the right time to come and get a drink of water. He waits until I'm uh, recording, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. And then, okay, so looking at the earbuds, you can see two totally different styles. You've got the, like I would call a semi, um, a semi pencil style earbud with the Falcon ANCs. As you can see, it's got the short arm uh, for your microphone and the B the BioPlay EQs has a very, very different, uh, form factor to it. Uh, more of a, it's a more of a circular one, but we'll come back to this one because this is a rather, uh, unique, uh, form factor. Um, let's go ahead and focus a little bit more on the, uh, Falcon ANC. As you can see, I love the way they have the, uh, the short, the different uh, cuts, the edges, real sharp. And I love the contrast of how they got the uh, matte, the uh, glossy black top here, but they have matte black all the way around, um, or around the earbud. Uh, kind of symbol, symbolist, kind of like the case where you got the matte black around it, but you got the gloss on top. Um, you know, very uh, similar there. And of course you got the, uh, the noble blue touchpad uh, for you know functionality, uh, very nice. I went ahead and uh, when he first came out of the box, he did not have a wing on it, uh, so I, they do offer different types of uh, different size wings for them. So I went ahead and uh, put that in, you know, added the wing to it, and it also comes with a uh, comply foam tips. So I went ahead and substitute that because I prefer the, the comply foam tips, uh, for, uh, noise canceling and, uh, overall sound. Uh, but they do come with spin fit tips as well for the, uh, Falcon ANCs, which is, a a very big, a very, very welcome surprise there, uh, for all those guys and gals who like the, uh, spin fit, um, earbud or spin fit tips. All right. Now moving over to the, uh, Bio play EQs. Like I said, you have like a circular, uh, form factor. Obviously it's an ergonomic, uh, form factor, of course, because you can see it as circular in the back. So it's more geared more to the, uh, ear well, it will sit in there, uh, quite snugly. And here's the funny, here's the unique thing about these guys. This is considered the wing of the earbud. Let me get that in a little closer. This here, is the wing and they have it sitting out on the fr on fr in front. Uh, so when you twist and lock, this is, this is the back and this is going into the ear well, and this is the front of it. And what my theory is of this is this acts as a counterweight, um, to the back because a lot of the earbud sits back here and this is, uh, basically to help balance it. That way it doesn't, uh, provide ear fatigue with all the weight pushing down into the back of your ear and it allows it to give a better balance and also helps with, uh, um, you know, your seal as far as uh sound and, uh, and noise canceling. But, and of course you got the really, I, I love how big the touch pad is on this. You really cannot go wrong, uh, with this one, as far as the touch, the downside to it is that when you're twisting it, 
and locking it in, you can inadvertently uh, hit the uh, hit the touchpad to cause different types of functions like volume up or down or skipping a track or something like that. This I've done that myself on a, on several occasions uh, when it comes to these got when it comes to these earbuds, but that as far as their uh, their ergonomics and stuff, that is the only downside. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, put you see these in my ear, and we're going to get a picture, and we'll compare how they sit in in my ear in the ear. Let me go ahead and grab my phone, and we're going to. All right, I'm going to take a picture. All right, first up, Falcon ANCs. And next, video play EQs. All right. Okay, here we go. First up. We got the Falcon ANCs, as you can see, let me move in a little closer. They definitely go into the ear canal with the, the wing tips, but they do not completely cover the ear canal. Uh, but they do with the wing tip, they do give you a good seal and uh, it, allow, it allows for excellent, uh, excellent uh, noise canceling. You can definitely tell the difference with it, uh, with you know, with the comply phone tips. I recommend the comply phone tips because of that. But you know, that's you get the that's my suggestion. But you get whatever tips is best for you. As long as I saw it, and I'll continue to say on here, the bet you get the best tips that will help. Um, the excuse me, let me back up. The right tip will help tremendously with sound and. No, it with audio and noise canceling. So make sure you always have the correct fit tips in at all times. Uh, make sure you get your, because it helps tremendously. All right. So moving on forward, we gonna go ahead and, uh, take a look at, let me make sure I'm down. All right. Oop, back one. And here's the, uh, video play EQs. Let me get a little closer here. Picture was kind of a little darker. All right. So as you can see, Actually, you can see it going all the way to the edge of the ear canal. So it covers, it takes up the whole ear canal, uh, the ear well rather. And of course you've got the wing up here that's that's counterbalancing the weight back here. So it's, it kind of evens itself out. Like I said, a very unique design uh, with the comply foam ear tip in it. It is completely, uh, uh, you know, I got great seal. Uh, I can, you can definitely tell when it's in both of them are light, uh, filling earbuds. Um, I don't feel any like pressure from the, uh, from the comply foam with, you know, pressure on my eardrum as far as the seal goes. Um, you know, do the wide open, you know, how you open your mouth real wide to see if the earbuds move. I can do that and they stay locked in. So we're, we're good there. Let me go ahead and, uh, put that away. And they just, they both feel just wonderful in the ear, uh, you know? So you, you really don't have to adjust them or anything like that. Once you have them twisted and locked in. All right. So let me go ahead and we'll go ahead and drop these in their cases for right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to move on and talk about uh, the specs, uh, specs rather, of each of these ear, each of these sets of earbuds. Now, both of them are working with Bluetooth five point two. They both support AS, <clears throat> excuse me, SBC and AAC. However, uh, I'm excuse me, SBC, AAC, and APX adaptive. But the Falcon AAC supports APTX, APTX late, low latency. APTX voice and Snapdragon sound. So, of course, I got, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a plane just flying overhead. Um, so, basically, like I was saying, they've got a lot of uh, different codecs in here 
Um, low latency is for gaming, obviously, so you can use that um, if you game with like a tablet or your phone. That uh, it'll work in your favor there, help your audio uh, in that fashion. Um, as far as no uh, noise canceling, they both have it. Uh, you have the Falcon ANC has uh, what they call a hybrid noise cancellation software or uh, software on their earbuds, excuse me. And the uh, Bio Play EQs have what they call their adaptive noise canceling uh, software. All right, now, as far as battery life, uh, with the Falcon ANCs, you can get up to five hours on the earbuds. And with the case, the, the case will often give you an additional 30 hours, up to an additional 30 hours. Now, like I said, and this is um, in content in uh, this depends on how you have your ANC. If you work, if you run the ANC all the time, or if your volume, you're up, you have your volume at like 75, 80, somewhere up in there. You ask how you listen to it every day, all day. Those things play a role. Um, when it comes to your battery life on your earbuds. Uh, with the Bio Play EQs, you can get up to six and a half hours with ANC, up to seven and a half hours without it. And then the case will give you an additional 20 hours uh, of uh, battery life for, you know, for the uh, earbuds. Now, again, just like they had their listed for ANC, you know, they didn't have their specified for the Falcon uh, ANC as far as what exactly you would get um, with them on with ANC on or off. They didn't specify that, but Bang Lovison did. But it's it's like I said, you got other uh, things to think about in conjunction uh, with that. So as far as moving on, uh, the B B Play EQs do offer quick charge. 20 minutes would get you two hours of playback time. Um, as far as quick charge or fast charging with the Falcon ANCs, there was no uh, there was no documentation in my research that said that it does support it or does not support it. So I'm gonna go on. I'm just gonna go on to say that they do not um, support fast charging. However, uh, they do mention that it takes if from zero to a hundred percent takes about an hour and a half charge time for the earbuds. Okay. So now as far as uh, water resistance, I believe the B and O EQs are at IPX four, just like the, uh, Falcon ANCs. Actually, I'm going to verify that right now. I thought I had that information on hand. My apologies, but we're going to get to that right now. Let me give me just a moment here. See, we keep it 100 here on Ronald Tech. Even if I got to go out and find it out and right on, right in the video, we'll do it. All right, just give me just a moment here. We're going to. Let me see here. Okay. Okay. And let's go. All right, here we go. Just going out just to verify. I just want to make sure that we are a hundred percent. Um, when I'm telling you this, I don't want to, I don't want to give you guys any false information. Um, I'm sorry. See, there it is. The B, the bear, the, Bio Play EQs are rated at IP54, dust and splash resistant. So I'm glad I did double check that. But uh, that's exactly where they are. Both of them, as far as uh, uh, special features, fast pairing for the B the Bio Play EQs. I I'm just going to go on and say that uh, these guys. Um, do not support. Well, I never had a problem pairing them to anything that I have like quickly. They just don't have that, uh, that Google fast pair. They don't support that. Um, but they do. Um, so we just want to say no, because they don't have the, uh, Google fast pairing, uh, software in their, in, 
in their uh, repertoire. So we want to say no to fast pair, but they do. Once you put them in pairing, it, your devices do pick them up rather quickly. But the official, uh, the official word is that they do not support it. So moving on, both of them support multi-point pairing and connecting. So you can use each of these sets of earbuds with two devices at one time, which is uh, fantastic. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to pair each of these up. We're going to go take a walk through their apps and see what they have in, st in store for them. So uh, stay strapped in because, all right, we're back in. And as you can see, we've got the uh, Noble Falcon ANCs already paired up. So let's go ahead and dive into their app. Whoops, that's not it. All right. That's not it. All right, so uh, when you go to, if you decide to purchase these earbuds, you want to make sure you go and pick up the Falcon, the Noble Falcon ANC app in your respective uh, app store. Because um, if you type in just Noble, they'll have a long, they'll have a list of different uh apps for different devices um that they support so you want to make sure you get the one that says Fal noble falcon anc um when you go to uh when you go to uh get the app for these earbuds so let's go ahead and dive in all right we're searching we're found and we're connecting and we are connected. All right. So now we move just a little bit closer here. What you got is you have the, the picture of your case and earbuds. However, they only give you uh, a picture of the earbuds and, uh, and they, they give you the, the, excuse me, the battery level of the earbuds and not the case. Obviously you can see my, I don't know if you can see that, but my left one is down to 10%. Uh, so we will have to rectify that before we get into the, uh, sound testing. All right. So moving on down, you got your hear through function. You can turn that off and on, uh, with that switch there. And of course you can select play pause if you wanted to go through that. And then of course you've got your options for, uh, how strong you want, uh, your hear through. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I have it on high. Once I have it on this, you know, it gives you the strength levels of, for your hear through big okay so then of course moving down you've got noise canceling same thing you can turn that on and then you can adjust uh how strong you want your noise canceling uh from hot from low medium to high and they'll make that uh, adjustment in the earbud see now this next one here is something that uh we don't see in in uh apps this is where your gain control so this is, I guess this is for when you're like talking on the phone or, or anything like that, using them for like a video conference or anything like that, then you can change the gain on uh, the microphone. So you can either max is at zero decibels, but you can go all as far down as negative 12 decibels, um, for the gain on the mic. So like I said, that's something I've not seen on a, uh, on an app for any earbud up until now. So this is a very, uh, very nice tool to have, uh, especially if you're gaming too. If you're in like a, a, a multiplayer gaming situation, you can utilize that. That's So that's a very good tool to have. And of course you got your equalizer. Uh, you can turn that off and on and you can go into settings. It will take you over to the uh, play to the actual equalizer where you can go ahead and make adjustments here. And of course you can save up to three different settings. I have my setting. This is my setting here. So if you want to, uh, if you have these and you want to try it out, you can just go ahead and pause now and then, um, make the adjustments there right now. We have it on this one where there is no help whatsoever, um, when it, for the upcoming sound test. So then of course I got the, the third one is, it's a, excuse me, it's just an open one. So it, you know, if I decide to, I want to do another, a different type of sound and then I can use that one. So you can store, store up to three 
uh, you store up to three uh, set, uh, presets for your equalizer. All right, let's go back. All right, now, of course, like I said, the gaming mode, you can go into gaming for low latency and everything, or you can use multi-point uh, connectivity and pairing mode. I have it on multi-point because, like I said, I do not game on my laptop, on my, on my phones. So I definitely just leave it in the uh, multi-point uh, functionality. And of course you got your in-ear sensor, your infrared sensor. I have that turned on. So that way uh, you can, like when you take one earbud out, it pauses the music and then you put it back in, it resumes. So I have that there. Then of course, then you have your touch controls. Um, as for, you can see uh, for left and right, the single touch and the touch in the press and hold for two seconds and five seconds are set by default. You cannot change them. You can only change the double tap and the triple tap feet functions on the earbuds. Everything else is standard set and you cannot do anything. Uh, you cannot change those at all. Okay. So if you cut hit the button down here for customize, get that zoomed in. Now, if you do that, you tap on that, it'll allow you to, uh, get rid of, any of these three, any of these options, and then you can always add them back or you can turn them into a two row column type situate setup for your front, for your main page. I mean, I might just keep it like this. I think I'll do that. I think I'll keep it like this because I think that's pretty nice. And, and of course, um, yeah, that's just uh, a way of looking at it. And then of course, if you, move on down here at the bottom you see the gear you tap on that it takes you to this screen uh which basically does the same thing as the home screen you know see as you can see you got your hair through you got all the same features and everything you do on the home screen and it all take you to the exact same location say for instance i want uh here through, I tap on that. It took me to the here through section. Now let's go back in and tap on this one, tap on the gear. Now we hit here through and it takes you back to that location. So a little bit of redundancy there when it comes to, uh, when it comes to these web pages or these, uh, different pages in the app, oh, but they just they give you more than one way to get to, a. uh, to get to where you want to go as far as what type of feature you want to adjust or anything like that. So it's a, uh, it's a very, anyway, it's a very good, um, feature. I love it. It's a very detailed app. Um, especially I, I'm just, I'm just blown away by the gain function. I, you don't see that anywhere. So to have that on the app for a set of earbuds, that's pretty good. And of course, if you go down, you see down here in the lower right corner, little looks like a page looks like it has an exclamation point in there. If you tap on that, it will take you to Noble's website. Unfortunately, well, for it is in Japanese, and I have not yet found any option where you can actually. You know what? Nope. You can't even trans. You can't even translate it. It just says character size. So you, I make mine small, but you still can't even uh you can't even translate what it's what's the same. So every so what you want to do then dang it, I did it again. What you want to do then is, is you want to uh go either go onto their website, uh nobleaudio.com and pull the uh, documentation there, or you can um they give you a little quick guide in the box with the at with the earbuds. And you can go out there and uh, see if they have anything on there um, that could answer any questions that you may have. Okay. So with that being said, that's the walkthrough uh, for the Noble Falcon ANC app. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get these guys swapped out and we'll take a walk through the BO Play EQ app. All right. So stay strapped in. All right. We are back in. And as you can see, we have the BO Play EQs already uh, uh, paired up. So let's go ahead and dive into, whoops, looking at me. 
Let's go ahead and dive into the BO Play app. Or well, the Bang Olivison app, that is. All right. We want we got the EQs. We're gonna go ahead and connect. There we go. All right. So what we have here, now notice I close the key the case and then it gives me the uh battery strength. All right, so these they, they just tripped me out. All right, so you got a picture first you got your name of the of your device, then you have the picture of the case and two earbuds, and you have the battery level of all three. Case left, right earbud, and case. All right, moving down, you have your noise canceling options. Uh, you got noise canceling, transparency, and then neutral. Now, with noise canceling and transparency, you do have a slider here that you can slide from one to three, and you do get a uh, tactile a haptic feedback when you slide it. So it's a very cool, but then of course, if you're in noise canceling, you can turn on adaptive ANC, which will uh, increase or decrease the level of ANC of noise canceling that you have based on your location. Um, but once you turn that off, of course the slider disappears because it's doing it automatically. All right, so moving down, you got your listening modes, you have uh, all different kinds. You got, you know, optimal commute, clear. There's a podcast, and uh, I can't think of the the third, the fifth one, um, but we'll take a look at them in a second. Of course, you got my set, my uh um, presets, and of course the test preset, which I leave is blank. Uh, that way, we when we do the testing, there is no EQ help. It's all natural sound. And then of course you got the dial. If you tap on that, then you can you use this dial here. Let me get a little closer so you can see that circle in the middle. All right, so if you use that, you can move it anywhere you like. Notice how I like the fact that it, it changes color depending on where you are. Um, the best thing to do is to have music playing when you do that, if you're going to set your own preset, that way you can find exactly where uh, you want to be as far as the, um, the sound goes, and then you can go ahead and save it. Um, like I said, this is my, we'll take a look at my, I changed mine a little bit, um, made it more towards the uh, warm, stayed, still stayed in the high bass area, but made it more towards the warm than the energetic. Um, I think I like that more, but like that better, at least for right now, <laughs> my, apparently it might, it's going to change. Cause I had it the one way for like the longest time. Now all of a sudden I've changed it. So, but yeah, that's my, uh, let me get a little closer. So that way, in case you guys want to pause it and try it out for yourselves, that's my setting. All right. So, um, oh, and then of course, if you hit these three dashes up here, it will take you into uh, the listening mode screen where you can um, basically say which uh, which settings you want to be visible on the main page. As you can see, I have optimal is by default will always be there. You cannot remove that one from the main screen. However, all the other four are all the other ones are subjective. Uh, you can remove them or rearrange them however you want. Like I said, you have podcast and sport was the third, was the fifth one. Um, that's automatically in. So you can just go ahead. Like so you can go here with this and move that one out. So there will always be five on the main page. No more, no less. And you can just, you know, go ahead and say whichever ones you don't want. And then you can always put them back. And, and things of that nature. So it, it's very cool that you can go ahead and uh, customize it to your liking there. And I think with all, if you have any other presets in there, you can, you, they will also be in the shuffle and you can switch those out as well. So let's go ahead as we move on. Down here, we have our call settings. All right, so if you tap on that, it'll ask you like how, how you want the uh, call settings to work when someone, when you're talking on the phone, with someone, I have it set on my own voice. So basically when you're talking to someone on the phone with these earbuds in, um, 
it, the the earbuds will focus on you talking as opposed to the ambient noise around you, uh, which is very good. And of course, you got a slider that you can move up and down. And here's the thing. Even when you're on adapt, if you have adaptive noise canceling turned on, um, this uh, slider for this specific uh, purpose will remain uh, available to you. Okay. So you don't have to worry about, I don't know if you're thinking that or would be thinking that, um, that this will uh, like, the uh, excuse me, adaptive noise canceling will affect this and it won't. All right. So then of course you got neutral and then you got noise canceling. And of course you've got the, the, the slider to say the strength of your noise canceling while you're on a phone call. Okay. So moving on, you got your automatic standby. So if you turn that on, you can you turn that on, it will say, okay, then you're at, <clears throat> excuse me, then your earbuds, if you have like 15 minutes of inactivity with the earbuds, they power off to save battery. So what you have to do is, is either um, put them back in a case and then take them back out or tap on the, uh, I guess it's a double tap on the ear tip on the earbud himself to get them to wake up. And you'll hear the uh, little uh, beep or little blip or a, I guess a little, I want to say a chime, but it's just like a, a little beep letting you know that they're up and then they're paired to your device and you can go ahead and use them there. All right. So moving on, as you can see at the bottom, we got some icons here right now we're in the home screen. So we go to the next one over, you've got the multi room. So this is where if you have like, uh, like speakers and, uh, home theater systems that through banging all of a sudden you can use this app. And you can use that to control it. And like I say, multi room, so they could be in any room uh, in the house and you can still control them from this app with the, on this page. So that's a very cool uh, feature. Uh, one more thing I want you guys to take notice to is right down here at the bottom, this strip here, it says ROMs BO Play EQ and it has the play and skip uh, controls there. That is for your audio. So say for instance, you're listening to a song or you're listening to a podcast and you want to, you're going into the app cause you want to make adjustments there. You can go ahead and hit play and then, you know, it will just continue playing while you're doing some other, some other stuff in, in your ear. So that's, I just wanted to point that out to you. All right. So moving on, as you can see down here in the bottom, the third one looks like a music note. If you tap on that, it will take you out to their music. Um, you have to be signed into Deezer in order to take advantage of it. Um, it allows you to have access to a uh, well over 73 million tracks, um, to pick and choose from to listen to, uh, it's basically a streaming audio service. Uh, I guess it was a partnership between Deezer and Bang Olufsen to bring this to you guys in the app, which is very cool. All right. And then of course you got the very last one here at the bottom. There's the uh, being over. This is the radio function, to base, which will allow you to uh, tune in to um, radio stations in your area. Um, and then, of course, then you got to tune in, which is more, I think, of a, a AM channel type of a situation. Yeah, because no, no, there's I think there's some some uh, FM. Yeah, there are some FM channels on there. Um, so. Yeah, I think this is more of like a uh, talk radio. Well, no, because they got 93. They got the classic rock channel. So, yeah, it, it's another way of tuning into any local uh, radio stations and everything like that via the app. Again, another uh, uh, fantastic feature to have within the app here. All right. Oh, let me back up. So if you can see you have that gear up here, let's go ahead and tap on that. And then you can either go into tune in, you have to sign in there or translate or uh, personalization. Then you can just go ahead and personalize them however you want, as far as your, the songs. Okay. And I'm trying to make sure we got all the bases covered here. I think we did Oh, one more thing. Upper right corner here. If you tap on those three, did three dots, it will drop you into here where you have uh, pairing 
where you have pairing, you have product settings, support, and product guide. So if we go into pairing, that's self-explanatory. You can it'll show you how to turn that, get the uh, set the earbuds, blah blah blah, <laughs> in pairing mode. So that's that there. So we go back in, and of course you got product settings. Then you can if you lose your case and you need to replace it, you would come into the app and you would hit replace case once you have your earbuds already connected. And then of course you can change the name of your of your earbuds. As you can see, I changed mine. Then you got software. This is for software updates. Obviously we're up to date. And then of course you got your product color so you can pick which color uh, of them that your, your app, you know, yours is. I do like that blue, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. And of course, you know, and then once you have your correct uh, color, you hit save and it will save it into memory that that's the color that you have. And then of course you got the uh, about option there, which will tell you, you know, give you all the information about the app and things of that nature. And then of course, if you want to remove whatever uh, device you're, you, you are paired to and you're in the app using, you can go ahead and hit remove and it'll remove that product from the app itself. You know, like I said, it will, you still be able to, you know, utilize it, the, you know, direct any other way. It just won't have access to the app. That's it. All right. So make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't believe we have. All right. Fantastic. So, that was the walkthrough for the Bangalore and Bio Play EQ in their in their perspective app. So what you what's up next is our mic test. So stay strapped in for that. This is a mic test with the Noble uh, Falcon ANC in a semi quiet location. This is a mic test with the Noble Falcon ANC in a semi quiet location. This is a mic test with the Noble Falcon ANC in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Noble Falcon ANC in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bio Play EQs in a semi quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bio Play EQs in a semi quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bio Play EQs in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bio Play EQs in a crowded location. All right, we are back in. And now for the sound test, we have the Noble Falcon ANCs already paired up. So let's go ahead and uh, put these in and we can get started. All right. Like I said, these guys had a good showing up against the Sennheiser uh, Momentum 3s, as well as the Technique AV AZ60, so we're gonna see, we're gonna put them head to head against the uh, uh, Bill Play EQs when it comes to comes to our sound. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put some music out. Let's see, we're gonna go with, um, we're gonna go with Lenny Kravitz. All right, so we're at max volume. And here we go. Man, just great sound. Crystal clear vocals, man. This is fantastic. Man, sounds, instrumental separation is great. Okay. Now that has such great sound, such great instrumental separation, man. It just feels like you're right there, uh, in the, in, not even in the studio, like he's on stage in front of you and you're, you're getting 
uh, you're getting it from every the the vi the sound is coming from every left and right. You've got the cymbals and the kick drum on one side. You've got the bass guitar uh, on the on this on the right, and then of course you've got uh, you got Lenny Kravitz singing vocals like right in front of you. So you you you're getting it from all over. It's, it's a great balanced sound. I, I, these, these earbuds are really, really impressive. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to do, hmm, let's see. We want this one. Let's see if I can get. I don't think I can get this one on with just a. No, we can't use that one. Although that's a good song, but we can't use that one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use. All right, we're going to go ahead and use. Uh, Where's uh, Godzilla? All right, we're gonna go ahead with Godzilla on this one. Sorry for taking so long to pick. I was hoping to use a different song, but obviously they didn't have a type word I could use without getting a copyright strike. So we're gonna go ahead with Godzilla on this one. Hold on, let me start this over. All right, here we go. Now, this is, this is a bass heavy song and it's taking it nicely. Very crystal clear vocals. Man, this is great. It's, it's handling the bass fantastically. Let me see about the, the chorus here. Very clear vocals, very clear. Even the background singles, singers rather. It's it's just a great balanced sound. These guys are these earbuds are very, very, very impressive. Oh, these guys are just just impressive. Um, you got great balanced sound. The crystal clear vocals, sound separation. These guys, these guys have it all. Ah, oh, it's just they just missed on the uh, Sennheisers. Uh, Sennheiser. Let's see how they. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and um, I'm trying to save it all for my for the outro or for my final thoughts. So bear with me on this one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get these swapped out. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the uh, Bang and Olds and the E X the EQs, and we'll see how they sound. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in, and as you can see, we've got the Bo Play EQs already paired up. So what we're gonna do, whoops, is we're gonna go ahead and jump into our music. And any Kravitz, we're at max volume again. Okay. Just a much a warmer sound. Just separation is top notch. Very clear vocals. Fantastic sound separation. Just 
All right. The there it's a warmer sound. The bass is maybe a, a tick uh better, uh deeper uh in that song. Um you get crystal clear you get clear vocals. Just man, they're just fantastic. They're just they're great. They're just great. And they have a warmer natural sound than the Falcon ANCs, but you know what? We'll talk about that in the my final thoughts. Um, but I just wanted to say there's a reason why these guys are number one on my list and they're just and they're showing it now. So let me go ahead and uh we're gonna switch over to Eminem, Godzilla, and we're gonna See how they act on the bass heavy song. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> Man. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, yeah. These are fantastic. Let me see the, the chorus. Man. Ooh, <laughs> these, that's a bass heavy song. And these let you know that they can take it. Oh, this, this fantastic. Hold on. I, I, hold on. I know I'm supposed to, I got here one. I just got here one thing with this was bear with me. I just got to hear this, uh, with these guys. I haven't had a chance to do this. So I want to, I want to hear this. I just got to hear this. Just bear with me. Runs house. I have to hear this 808 with these BO play EQs. This is meant. Oh my. Okay. All right. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> all right. So. Oh, okay. Fantastic balance sound. And when you when I had the pop song on with uh, Lenny Kravitz, oh, but the the bass on the on the hip hop songs, the bass heavy these they come to play. Oh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this uh, cleaned up here, and I'll come back with my final thoughts on the both of them. So uh, stay strapped in. All right, we're back in with my final thoughts before the Noble Falcon ANCs and the banging all and B.O. play EQs. And I have to say it was a close, another close one. The Noble Falcon ANCs are very impressive, especially at their price point. Uh, that one, uh, that 189 price point, they, they, they hit above their weight class. Um, However, uh, they have, let me back up. They have all the features that I, I want. They've got the wireless charging. They've got the multi-point pairing. Uh, they got the individual usage, uh, the codex, the water resistance, uh, uh, the battery life, which is, is okay with me. Um, Cause a lot of times I'm using them one at a time anyway. So I usually get through a whole work day, uh, on one charge from either one of these guys. So they are a great set of earbuds. Um, they've proven it to me going through this whole, um, gauntlet. Um, however, uh, I still got to give the nods to the, the BO play EQs. Although these guys got very got good and loud and they got great sound separation, great music instrumental separation. Um, and especially within the uh, pop songs, um, the BO play EQs, in my opinion, 
they did the exact same things, but they had a little uh, naturally there's a, there's a warmer uh, feel to their to uh, to them when they're playing audio. It's a warmer feel, um, a little bit warmer than their. You know, it's just a it's, it feels really good. And on top of getting the separation and everything, uh, they really knew what they were doing when it came to the. Um, you know, listening to pop music and then pop music and then switching over to hip hop and the bass heavy songs. They both represent it very well, but the, the Bill play EQs was superior. What I, I, I can't say it any, but any, uh, blunder than that, any better than that. They were superior when it came to, um, bass, natural bass, not with the equalizer, or any equalizer or help or anything, just natural bass right out of the box. They are superior. Uh, the Bo Play EQs are so. Um, I if I had to pick one, if I I will go with the Bo Play EQs, but I wouldn't feel bad going with the Noble Falcon ANCs either. But the the EQs would be my number one choice. The, uh, the Falcon ANCs have definitely, uh, like I said, they've impressed me a lot and I could easily see these guys in my top five, um, uh, of my, t of my 10 favorite earbuds. I could easily see these guys in my top five. Um, they are very impressive. If you get a chance to, um, get them, get them, I, I, Try them out. You can always return them, but try them out for yourself and see uh, what you think. But with that being said, uh, that brings this uh, gauntlet series to a close. I do still have some unboxings I want to get done. Um, so we'll be um, we'll be at it again here try to get those done. Um, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button at the bottom here. And if you want to Stick around to see what I got to unbox and any other uh, videos I got coming up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then ring the bell. So that way you'll be notified when uh, those videos drop. Again, i like to thank you guys for uh, coming out and hollering at your boy. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.